Yes. My name is Carol Singh and good evening everyone. My name is Carol Singh and today I'm going to sing Get Semani. Jesus climbed to the garden still his step were heavy and slow. Love and a prayer to him there to the place only he could go. Yes, Jesus loves me, so he has me to get spent my all was sad, he could all that all the pain I would ever know. His The heart of 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 the Good evening and happy Sabbath to all the fellow believers. I thank you for Sister Carol for this beautiful song that she has shared with us about Gethsemane. And I thank uh, the church pastor of Metis, Pastor Devashish, for this opportunity. And especially I thank the principal of Metis Adventist School for allowing me to share the word of gospel now the most and almost for everything i especially thank almighty for this privilege for this life for the very breath that i'm taking i feel somehow people those who are not breathing or we can say rest in this earth resting in in this earth are lucky because they have completed their journey of sinful life. And as we are leaving, we are still on the way and we are still processing and looking for our salvation. We are at the moment, in, even in 2021, living in COVID pandemic, in COVID-19 pandemic and all the suffering and all the uh, difficulties and trials are not making our lives any better. 
but i don't need to have that audacity to say that whose life is better whose life is not better whose life is harder and whose is not i would like you to draw your attention to corinthians first corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 it reads and now these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love amen to that verse and whatever i speak i really want your attention your focus to be in this verse again and again i really like a song and since the day one that i've heard this song and i continue you know hearing this song and every time i think of you know waking up in the morning and i face some um, challenges i remember it is a famous song by jeff and sherry easter every day is a new day now since our learning hood learning hood as in not childhood but not adulthood the time that we our inner self we watch we realize and understand within the day every day or every hour if we understand that what we are made for we aim for purpose and the final destiny in this final destiny we start swimming we start swimming our journey and in our vision of leading life we see it as you know a narrow path and we try to make another path out of it which is not the same as the previous one comfort in that new path we fight satisfaction we find we try to find or we try to uh, make ourselves feel better where we are walking in our our life is an adventure and we adventure with excitement and slowly slowly with excitement happiness joy love comes with trials temptations sorrow sadness anger and what not we see a storm we see a clouded a uh, uh, dark cloud we see tornado and we get scared we try from where we stand and we think of whatever happens whatever comes on our way to say yes to say yes to every comfort to every solution if it is temptations we say yes let's just run away from this place if it is a challenge and trial we don't want to say we do not want to face this difficulty so yes let's go and say, satan at that satan suffers and attempts its best to lure us to confuse us and we are we fall in his temptations just as a quick just as a snap and we fall into his uh dark ground now we forget we forget the promises we forget what we are taught from the childhood we are we forget so many things the most of all that we forget is from hebrew if you open with me to hebrew chapter 4 verse 15 uh that for we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are we are an easy target we you me as a human in this mind in this body we are a very easy target but even jesus was tempted and remember the 
uh, where we were standing in front of a storm, we were looking at the clouds, dark clouds, and we want to run away from there. We forget from Matthew 26, Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, that tells us, but Jesus beheld them and said to them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. We want to run away because we cannot face the storm. We want to run away because we do not know how to stand where we are. And that's when we say yes to the difficulty. We say yes to the challenges. We say yes to all kinds of, all kinds of things other than Jesus. And we have to learn how to say no. We have to learn how to say no to the, those things. I understand, like it's a natural way that when there is life, there is difficulty. When there is life, there is trials and tribulations because God knew, God the Father who lives in heaven, who knew that if we step out in our faith to God, the struggle is on its way. Then how to say no? We say yes, just run it like running away. How to stand there? And how to face those things, how to face the challenge, how to face those trials, how to stand there and say, stop the tornado, how to stand there and say, run, you know, go away those dark clouds. Because we forget that each day is a new day and each day is harder than before. But we have this promise. Now I want, I'd like to share how I learned and I'm still learning how to say no. to do our homework. Homework, we hear most of these words in school. Students do your homework, children do your homework. But what is this homework that I'm talking about? Homework somehow in a general definition, it develops our ability and shape our character and personality and someone can become dignified individual. And our homework as a believer, is to know the Bible, is to read the Bible and develop our abilities from it, shape our characters from it, to shape our personalities from it and become the dignified individual just like Jesus. Now, we have the sinful body. We cannot be like Jesus, but to follow what he says. If, if we know from, um, if we know that Jesus was tempted and before anybody else, Jesus, who came to this earth for our sins, who came to give us the salvation, he was tempted. If we look through um, uh, Luke chapter 4, Luke chapter 4, Jesus in wilderness and the temptations, we will find that how he was tempted. I'm reading Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 together. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit. Now, they never say half of Holy Spirit. They never told on the way to gain the full of Holy Spirit, but they always said full of Holy Spirit. Left the Jordan and led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was, he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during days and at the end of them he was hungry if he if he who was in full of holy spirit you and i are still nothing more to where we should be if we say yes to those trials and tribulations Jesus knew from, Jesus knew, and when he was on earth and got, gained, gained the full, yes, he gained the full of Holy Spirit, he constantly communicated with his heavenly father over and over the years. He never stopped because even he learned that God offered an ample of power, more than a mountain, deeper than the sea, higher than the sky, 
the power to say no to any temptations. And the second thing that I want to mention, that the prayer is the key. Jesus as well as prayed because he believed that God is more than faithful to deliver on our promises. For Jesus, is, uh, for Jesus' case, you will see that Father in heaven, as he referred Father in heaven to Satan, that the Lord will provide immediate and powerful aid. We don't have to follow through those yes. We do not have to follow through those temptations. We don't have to follow through those luring and confusing things. We do not have to follow what shines because this is just the shining star of the shining star of devil's face. Then we become the easy target. We are easy to be confused and that's what he do. Play with the weak. But when we stand firm in front of the storm and Satan comes on our way to say, okay, let's go. Let's go run away from the storm. We should say no. No to that storm. And stand firm because and just because God will deliver his promise. Now, if you open with me to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now to him who is able to do miserably, immeasurably more than what we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. It is just us who has to say yes or no. And it is just us who has to learn to say no. If we say no, then this verse, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, taught, takes us to that place where we cannot imagine how powerful God is and how powerful his marvelous work is. And that's when he will show us that how to calm a storm. He will show us how to say stop tornado. He will show us. He will literally show us how to face, how to stand in that direction and if you keep trusting the lord he is a faithful one who will guide you through our through yes our way my dear believers my dear people god said to be good to those to good to everyone especially to those who are believers and this is my privilege to share this word with you that god is faithful and God, during our each work, each deed that we do according to his name, according and taking by taking his name, he treasures us like his own. He loves us like his own. He never loved us, never lesser than Jesus. He loved us as same as Jesus, or you can say even more because we are his creation. And because he just wants us to have the faith and love him as he has loved us and nothing more. If we stand there together, asking God to be our everything, that God take over, take over the storm or God take over me and do whatever you want to do. To say no will be so easy. To say no, will make your foot go forward to the storm and you will be cherished in God's word. I believe, I believe, my dear people, I believe, my dear brothers and sisters, that we, by prayer, by reading Bible, by communicating to God, the Father who lives in heaven, we, can shape our character, shape our personality, shape our ability to in God's word, just like Jesus showed us. With this thought, I close my prayer to all of you that even though life gets hard and difficult, we must learn how to say no.
um, praise the Lord. Shall we close our eyes, hold our hands as we seek the Lord in prayer? Almighty Father in heaven, we thank the Lord for this beautiful Sabbath day that you have added in our lives. And we thank the Lord for all the blessings of life that you've given us and gave us the opportunity, Lord, and held us throughout this week to come closer to this beautiful Sabbath day. We thank thee from our hearts, Lord, and help us as we get into this Sabbath. We may keep ourselves holy. We may keep ourselves ready to receive thy word and to receive your blessings, Lord. And especially, I would thank, Lord, for this beautiful message that we have received to know thy power, to know that you are there to protect us and to help us to face the storms and to say no to the things that defy us, Lord. At this time, I bring all the church members, those who are connected online and all those guests and your people, I bring them all before thy throne, Lord, to bless them and also to forgive our sins that we have committed in the past, Lord. At this time, I especially bring all those people into thy hands who is working for thy cause, Lord, in their various capacities and capabilities. May you give them sound mind, wisdom, and understanding so that they can understand each and every path and they can work for your cause. Lord, be with all of us, forgive our sins and shortcomings. This short prayer we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.